early 20th century was a time of economic growth and prosperity. Quebec experienced significant industrial growth and electricity started to replace steam as the main energy source in factories. New industries related to the exploitation of natural resources made a remarkable debut. These industries included mining, pulp and paper, and hydroelectricity, as well as industries that required a lot of electricity, such as aluminum. And those very industries helped develop the non-industrialized areas as well, like in the Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean area, and in the Morrissey regions too. But the biggest industries remained light manufacturing, like textiles, clothing, footwear, tobacco, and even food. With the growing number of immigrants, the development of Western Canada and urbanization, people going to the cities, the demand for these products had significantly increased. In 1905, one city dominated the light manufacturing sector. That was Montreal. At that time, it was the metropolis of Canada. In other words, it was the country's most important city. That city's light industry manufacturers, they hired many workers, but they paid them very poorly. This panoramic view of Montreal in 1892 shows the city's industrial nature and its port activity. The area of the city had boasted the largest concentration of factories in the entire country, the area along the Lachine Canal. At the bottom left of the picture, you can see the Victoria Bridge, the first bridge linking Montreal to the South Shore. Just above it, you can see the Lachine Canal and smoke from all the factories there. Why did industrialists choose this site? There were two main reasons. First, factories needed hydropower. That's energy from the water to operate their machines. So the canal was a convenient source of energy. Plus, maritime, that means on the water, and rail transportation was located virtually right next door. But you can also see many factories to the east of the city in the right of the image as well. Light industry could be found in other cities in Quebec too. There were factories making textiles in Sherbrooke and Trois-Rivières and footwear in Quebec City. <laughs>